Hello there and welcome to the game Pyro's Let's Play Baldur's Gate. I'm playing Baldur's Gate with a modded version called Baldur's Gate 2.2. It is completely free to download. It was created by the Game Link 3. I'll put a link to it in the, in the description. To download it, you need to have Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 downloaded. You don't need to have the expansions, Tales of Sword Coast, and Throne of Ball. But you do need the patch for, for uh, Baldur's Gate 2. So I'll put that link in the description too. So download the patch first, and then download 2.2. We're going to go through the character generation real quick. And then I'm going to import a character that's already been made and pre-rolled. You can choose male or female, and here are some of the Baldur's Gate 2 portraits. You can see how the graphics are kind of different from uh, this one to this one. That's just Baldur's Gate 1 stuff. So we're going to choose someone crazy. We're going to choose this crazy son of a bitch. The new class, um, I mean the race, is half orc. They get a bonus to their strength and constitution, but a penalty to their intelligence. So just they're only good for a fighter, so it's just your dumbass fighter, which is pretty much all a fighter could be, because they don't really ha need to have a high intelligence or wisdom. They just need strength and pretty much constitution. So two two pretty much combines Baldur's Gate two and, and one. So you can, for example, play as a half orc, and you can be a barbarian, do whatever you want. Um, and with Baldur's Gate 2, you get the kits of each class, so you can be a fighter, and depending on how your gameplay is and what you like, each one has a certain advantage and disadvantage, and it just depends on how you play and what you want to play as. Um, so we'll just choose that for now. Alignment. Pretty much people like to choose lawful good, neutral good, chaotic good, depending on what they want to do. The best is just lawful good. You start out with the most money, depending on what your charisma is, of course, but the most money, the highest reputation, so people know you more, um, you get better respect with qu with quests, better rewards, shopkeepers sell you stuff cheaper. It's just best to be lawful good. If you want to be evil, be lawful evil. But just trying to be something that's that's lawful, that's always a plus. Abilities, you can roll those, do whatever. That's a pretty good roll right there. Um, 95, it is really good. We're going to import one of my favorite characters of all time. Played by Bruce Campbell, some of you may guess. Ash from Evil Dead, that's right. He's back, he's playing Baldur's Gate. I chose Ash as a paladin with the class with a kit class of the Undead Hunter. This one I really liked and it was just Ash in general because he can destroy the, like all the undead things like skeletons and zombies, things like that. The disadvantage that it has though is that it can't, it can't do the uh, Lay on Hands, which Ash doesn't really do because Ash does not heal, so you know, it's pretty much Ash in general. We got a human, we got lawful good, we're all good to go. Strength, that's what Ash usually is. Dexterity, he can shoot a shotgun behind his back. That's pretty dexterous. Constitution, he has those cuts and scars all over his face. So, that's well for that. Intelligence should be a bit higher, but I've been out of space. I mean, um, points. Because he built that car in the Army of Darkness, that huge train locomotive thing to knock over zombies. So, Wisdom, that's the lowest for a paladin, is 13. Paladins are really hard to roll because they got the highest uh, variables, they're kind of like a bard, but they don't cast spells really, because they're really charismatic, they're a fighter, cleric, pretty much, and they're one of my favorite to play as. Uh, Charisma's high, because he led an army, so that's high of course. I couldn't choose a chainsaw and shotgun, sorry guys, but I got the closest thing I could think of would be a mace and a crossbow. He doesn't use shields, so I just thought single weapon style. And appearance, I chose um, pretty much what he looks like, brown hair, he's a white guy so we chose white. And clothing, just pretty much what he has on right now, white shirt, silver because of his arm. And that's pretty much it, um, the sound I chose is Ash, this is just a, a custom sound, I just copied and pasted a bunch of wave files and programmed it from the uh, readme file that came with the game. This is really easy to do, if you guys need help, comment and I'll reply and I'll show you step by step on how to do a custom sound and there are forms out there that show you how to do it that are better than me. But, um, I'm going to show you how Ash sounds.
Yo, she bitch. Go ahead and run. Run home and fry the mama. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'm through running. Well, that's just what we call pillow talk, baby. Yeah. That's definitely Ash right there. But you got, um, Baldur's get one and two sounds in this. Yeah, that's, I kind of prefer the Baldur's get one sounds over the second one, but I'm going to choose Ash. And then you can type in the name. And we'll go to a little storytelling time by Morgan Freeman. Uh, this ends part one, so click on part two.